Brooklyn, Queens, New York, raised in, uh, as a New York City kid, uh, born in Puerto Rico. I uh, decided to join the Air Force. I was just looking for something different. Uh, living in New York, the concrete jungle, you don't really see uh, the world too much. And so decided to uh, join the Air Force. Uh, would allow me to see the world and do something different. Uh, husband, uh, my wife Susie, she's also an airman. Um, she sacrificed a lot uh, to allow me to you know, do the things that I've, do, that I've done in my career. Overall, I've served most of my career as an aerial porter, uh, port doc, uh, you know, proud uh, and wear that uh, as a badge of honor. Before this, I was the 459th Air Fuel and Wing Command Chief, served there for about a year and a half. Um, it was an amazing time, was sad to leave, uh, developed some great bonds, relationships with the airmen there. Uh, but, but looking forward and have looked forward uh, to taking on this position. Yeah, I think number one is to just help develop, uh, you know, uh, the force for today's challenges and that future fight. Uh, you know, that future fight has been on everybody's radar. Uh, we're hoping to, to never have to get into that fight. Uh, but for me, it's, you know, what are we doing to prepare our airmen for that fight and, and provide that deterrence? You know, we talk about nuclear deterrence, but for me, uh, our airmen are also deterrence. And if our airmen are ready, capable, uh, willing to, 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 to be there uh, for that fight, uh, I think that will deter the enemy, number one. And so I, I, I think uh, getting them ready for that challenge, uh, I think it's important. Uh, the other thing is a goal of mine is, uh, is to develop, develop a cohesive NAF enlisted force development strategy. So within the next uh, month or so, we're going to bring some command chiefs out there. We're going to sit down and talk and look at force development within our NAF. Are we hitting certain metrics? Uh, we're we're going to look at the enlisted force development action plan uh, that came down from the SIMSAF and the CSAF. Uh, there are some action items that were out there. Um, and I want to make sure that we are, are doing everything within our wings to, to hit some of those action items, to hit some of those do out, to hit some of those milestones. I think that's important. Uh, and the last thing we're going to look at is uh, retention of the force within our NAP. And so overall in AFRC, um, you know, and across the Air Force, we do a great job in uh, recruiting uh, airmen. We don't do as good of a job uh, in terms of retaining the force. We lose first term airmen at a little bit of a too high of a clip. Uh, what I want to look at is figure out what's the why, you know, what's driving airmen to leave after our first term. You know, for me, it's uh, airmen watch the commercial. They see uh, the great things that they're going to do. And for some reason within that first term, that, that commercial just doesn't come uh, true for them. And so we're going to look at that and what are the things that we can do to engage the force? What are the things that we can do to retain that asset? So, so those are the priorities I'm, uh, I'm hoping we get after uh, during that sync. I think number one is, uh, you know, uh, be proud, you know, be proud to wear the uniform, uh, take pride in being an Air Force Airman. Uh, there are a lot of uh, individuals, a lot of airmen who have sacrificed uh, for us to be able to wear this uniform. Um, you know, for me, uh, excellence in all we do, it shouldn't be words, uh, it should be a way of life. You know, the second thing is, uh, you know, stay professional at all times. You know, we, we, we work in the profession of arms, and I think sometimes we forget that. Uh, we, we have our specialties, you know, be it if you're a maintainer, if you're a personnelist, or if you're a flyer. You know, for me, that, that's secondary to our profession. And so uh, staying professional means, you know, honoring that, that code of conduct, honoring our, our foundation, our core values, honoring our discipline, our bearing. You know, just like a, a house foundation, that's our foundation. If that fails, if that rots, everything else goes. You know, if you can't be trusted to do little, little things, uh, I'm not sure if we can trust you to do the big things. And we ask you to do some really amazing things. Our enlisted airmen, you know, uh, fix million dollar aircraft. Uh, they work on, on our, our most important weapon system, which is our airmen. Um, and, and, and in order for us to be able to trust them to do that, we have to trust that they have that foundation uh, that's solid, that's rooted in core values and discipline and custom. So I think for me, uh, that second priority is important. Stay professional at all times. I'm excited to, to, to be a, a cog in this organization, uh, 34,000 airmen, uh, 18 wings, one DRU. Uh, what we've done uh, over the last couple years, you know, responded at a moment's notice to OAR and OAW, uh, providing that necessary airlift. Um, and then again, uh, having airmen deploy to Task Force Liberty um, and welcome a lot of those allies, um, provide them the refuge that they need. Uh, you know, that, that's just exciting and to be a part of that is awesome. You know, we talk, uh, uh, we talk about the last couple years and we look at what we did in terms of 
responding to COVID, not just the airmen um, responding and you know vaccinating the force uh, at, at a moment's notice, uh, but also providing those resources out there to the local communities. You know, be it our nurses or our med techs, um, helping at the height of COVID. That's amazing. And so for me, it's I'm excited to be a part of that organization. Uh, I'm just excited, uh, you know, what we're going to do going forward. Again, in preparation for that future fight.